What I personally would have liked to have seen in, in, in a Bioshock game is sort of a broader range of enemies. And I think um, in Bioshock Infinite, we really want to have a sort of a class of enemies that had a, a sort of a, a, a more imaginative range of powers. And we came up with this concept called the heavy hitters, who are enemies that are sort of used to not just be more powerful, but also to augment the abilities of the more traditional Bioshock enemies. You're gonna come across them in, in certain areas of the game, and they're gonna provide a really unique challenge. You know, we wanted a, an AI that really expressed sort of the the very sort of clear system of beliefs the founders have and, and, and a heavy hitter that would sort of represent that. And the Motorized Patriot is a um, is sort of the embodiment of that. And they came up with this idea of this creepily motorized, like Hall of Presidents animatronic George Washington. It was specifically the face, specifically this weird like porcelain child dolls, you know, poor rendering of George Washington. That kind of clinched it. Everybody saw it and said, okay, we can, we can roll with that. It's one of those rare moments where you kind of all come together and you realize, okay, this is, this is gonna work. We're all on the same page here. Let's just move forward with what we got. I can use a turret! On it! Booker, the gear! So the motorized Patriot, um, a couple of things make him really special besides the aesthetic of him. One is that he's, unlike most of the enemies, he's completely fearless. Um, he doesn't have a sense of self-preservation, so he'll just keep coming at you and coming at you and coming at you. You know, despite the fact that you face many different kinds of enemies in this game, you clearly can't reason with this one. He's just gonna keep coming forever, you know? He is sort of a clockwork terminator. The other cool thing about him, he's got this um, Gatling gun called a pepper mill. But once you destroy the Patriot, Booker can actually um, go pick up the the pepper mill and actually use it as a heavy weapon. And that's the only place he can get it was from a, a destroyed motorized Patriot. I mean, I also like that, you know, as he starts to take serious damage, his head will, he actually loses the Washington mask and it reveals his sort of, his sort of metal skeleton underneath. The thing I like most about this guy is that I think he's pretty readable is what he does. You know, he's a fairly, Simple guy, he's not hes not a Swiss Army knife. He's a guy with a big gun, and I think that reads pretty well. He's got this incredible sense of heaviness. He's relentless, and just hearing sort of the, the things he's saying is both funny and kind of terrifying, but he's, you know, a deadly, deadly enemy. Uh -huh.